If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can leverage performance tab in Chrome DevTools. Before we start seeing the demo, first I want to explain about this application. This application developed by uh, Google developers to demonstrate the capability of the performance tab in the Chrome DevTools. So here you have set of options on the left side, add 10, it's a button. So if you click this add 10 button, it will add the uh, 10 images randomly in the page and it will just uh, fly up and down. And uh, if you click on this subtract 10, it will just reduce the 10 images. And if you want to stop the animation, you can stop. And if you want to see the optimized version of this particular application, you can click on the optimize. So this one we can come back uh, later. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep clicking this add a 10 button multiple times, at least uh, 25 to 30 times. So whenever uh, you keep adding these images, you can see the images is getting uh, moving pretty slowly. And let me click a couple more times just to see the images are pretty much very slowly moving. So something is going on in the back end. Uh, definitely there is some performance uh, bottleneck. So to drill down this performance bottleneck, uh, I'm going to bring up the uh, dev tools by pressing Control Shift I. So here, uh, if you click on performance tab, uh, you will get a couple of options. Uh, in the top left, you can see uh, you can capture your profiling information. So if you click on this record button, uh, Chrome DevTool will start capturing your uh, uh, performance of the application. Uh, basically, it will profile the information and then it will uh, display the results. And here, uh, there are a couple more options like uh, screenshots. If you want to capture screenshots, you can do that. And if you want to uh, show the memory timeline, you can show the memory timeline. And if you want to check the web vitals, you can uh, do that. And also at the bottom, there is a four check boxes. So this option is available under this uh, capture settings. So if you toggle on, it will display the four check boxes. If you toggle off, uh, it will go away. So now here, uh, there are uh, four options. First one is the disable uh, JavaScript samples. If you want to disable the JavaScript samples, then you can uh, check this box. And if you want to throttle your application network, you can do that. As I mentioned uh, in the previous video, there are uh, uh, three settings fast 3g slow 3g offline and if you want to add custom profiles uh, you can add that and if you want to throttle down your cpu uh, you can uh, select this option basically it will uh, slow down 4x times and 6x times and if you want to display the advanced paint instrumentation uh, you can check this box but it will uh, uh, slowly load it will take more time to display the results so do not do that unless uh, you know what you are doing and now we are going to capture this uh, profiling information. So before that, let me click a couple more times just to make sure to drill down the issue. And I'm going to click on this record button and let us leave it for three to five seconds. After uh, it is done, you can just click on the uh, stop button. Now it will take some time uh, to uh, display all the details. Basically it will capture everything, uh, frame rates per second, uh, other details, and then it will display uh, flame charts, uh, pie chart, etc. And uh, here you can see it is a time strip basically very top uh, row now let me toggle off this so that you can uh, see it uh, clearly and starting from 0 to uh, 5.4 seconds and here uh, you can just uh, select a particular chunk and then you can just uh, see what's going on otherwise you can just uh, double click uh, it will select the whole range and whenever you see the red color basically something is going on some there is some issue definitely so that is what the red color means and uh, if you want to see the color coding, you can see the summary. Basically, the purple the or violet color, it says uh, rendering. And yellow means uh, scripting and green means painting. And if you just scroll down, you can see the other details. So now let us uh, go with the, the red ones, basically. That is what the issue is. So we have to focus on the uh, red color ones. And here, if you just uh, hover uh, your mouse over the frames, you can see uh, dropped frame. So meaning, uh, there is some loss in the frames in the application. That is why it is displaying the red color. But if you just uh, hover your mouse over the uh, green color ones, you can see there is an increase in the uh, frames per second. So the green ones means it is uh, good at the time. And if it is a red one, there is something uh, uh, going on. And if you just, uh, again, if you drill down, zoom in, uh, you can see the uh, details um, uh, more clearly, basically. And if you just uh, zoom out, you can see the whole chunk. And now I'm going to expand this uh, main uh, uh, section here. And here you can see uh, there are other uh, couple more red colors basically. And if you just hover your mouse over the task, you can see there are two things. One is the green one 
uh, which is uh, 229 milliseconds and the task uh, long task basically so it is taking long time to finish the particular task and at the top right of this chunk you can see there is a small uh, rectangle basically so whenever you see the small rectangle the top right so that is the frame uh, which is causing some issue basically so here you can see again the animated uh, uh, frame fired uh, which took the long time and if you just uh, scroll down now you can see the function call and the app dot update and again there is a forced reflow uh, likely a performance bottleneck so here you can see it is clearly displaying something bad is going on so how do you pinpoint uh, which uh, line of code uh, which is causing the issue so to identify that if you just uh, scroll down to the summary part here so let me just expand and in the summary you can see the uh, pie chart and if you click on the uh, bottom up you can see the uh, uh, table view and the call tree again it will display the activity and the event log it will display the detailed events and the detailed events you can see at the top right there is a, a line which is pinpointing app.js this is the file which is causing this uh, issue and the line number is 70. So this information uh, should be available over here as well. Uh, let me click on this. Uh, yeah, here also it, it is available. You can see the right side. And uh, in call tree also it should be available here on the right side. And you can uh, sort by the uh, time, total time, etc. So here you can see the animation frame fired uh, app.js uh, line number 95. So there are a couple of lines uh, where you can focus for the performance uh, uh, optimization. And if you want to go to the particular line, uh, what you can do, you can just right click and you can click on the reveal in uh, sources panel. So if you click on reveal in sources panel, you can see the line exact line number, line number which is causing the issue. And here uh, the line number 90, 91 and so on. So these are the line uh, you can uh, optimize. So this particular app it comes with the uh, optimize button basically. So now I'm going to click on this uh, optimize. So once I click on this optimize, you can see these objects will move a little bit uh, faster. So I'm going to click on this optimize. So now you can see it is moving uh, faster and better than the previous uh, settings. And if I click on unoptimize, again, it will move slowly. So now I'm going to clear this particular uh, uh, collection. So I'm going to clear everything. And I'm going to uh, click on optimize. So now the application uh, performance is better. And I'm going to take the uh, snapshot again for about uh, five seconds. And I'm going to click on stop. So now what will happen is you can see a lot of uh, green colors instead of the red ones. And if you expand the main uh, section in the uh, information panel, uh, you don't see much of a uh, red color basically. So now let us wait for a couple of seconds to see the details. So now the profiling is done and here if you just uh, move this particular button here and uh, you can see a lot of uh, green ones and compared to the uh, red frames. So here you can see uh, there are a couple uh, uh, red uh, chunks we are seeing but mostly we are seeing the green ones and if you just uh, move your mouse over you can see uh, the information. Again uh, there is still there is a long task but it is previously uh, better than the uh, earlier version. And if you reduce the number of blocks, again, you don't see uh, the red color uh, uh, chunks here. And here, again, if you just close this main and if you expand the raster, and if you expand the GPU, uh, Chrome, compositor, so you can see all the details. So these uh, bottleneck uh, analysis needs more knowledge about uh, these uh, terms. So I'm just trying to explain how you can get started uh, with the performance bottleneck analysis. That is my uh, whole objective of this uh, video. Before I leave, I'm going to tell you another important uh, utility basically. Just press Ctrl Shift P and enter uh, show uh, rendering. So this will uh, bring up this uh, drawer. And here if you just scroll down, you can see there is one utility called frame rendering stats. So if you check this box at the bottom, you will get the uh, frame rendering uh, that utility small utility and here you can see a lot of greens and small chunk of reds it is going on so this is the frames per second so 60 frames per second means it is a uh, uh, decent uh, frames and i'm going to reduce the uh, blocks so that you can uh, clearly see the the green ones so here if, if you see a lot of uh, green ones and if you keep uh, reducing the uh, 
uh, images you can see everything is uh, green now if i click on uh, again add the uh, images again i'm um, keep clicking then you will see a lot of uh, uh, red chunks and if i click on unoptimize again uh, you will see a increase in the red chunks so that is the whole idea of this uh, demo application so this is how you get started with your uh, analysis using the performance tab and then uh, you will analyze uh, uh, what's going on by hovering your mouse over the uh, pie chart and the flame chart then you can uh, pinpoint the line number and then you can take the meaningful action so before i leave again i want to tell you another uh, important thing which is web vitals so i'm going to clear this and let us uh, go to uh, the online boutique dot dev so this is another sample website from uh, google and here i am going to check this box web vitals and i am going to uh, profile uh, this particular uh, website let us wait for uh, three to uh, five seconds and then click on stop so this web vitals will display the uh, web vitals such as lcp uh, ls so those uh, four uh, categories it will display so here i am not seeing anything so what i can do is i can just uh, remove this and i'm going to uh, hit record and i'm going to refresh this page now i'm going to stop i hope uh, now uh, the web vitals uh, should display and yes it is displaying so now you can see here under the web vital section uh, you can see the fcp uh, the first contentful uh, paint and lcp uh, largest uh, contentful uh, paint so everything is in green which means uh, your application is uh, working perfectly so now uh, what we can do just to see the details i am going to delete this and i am going to launch uh, say the verge.com and i'm going to capture this and i'm going to hit refresh again and let us uh, hard refresh and stop so definitely uh, you can see some more information about the web vitals uh, for this particular uh, website so here you can see fcp and lcp is good but uh, after the uh, reducing the cache removing the cache and uh, hard reload you can see there is a increase in the uh, layout shift and uh, first content full paint and you can see again lcp and uh, uh, ls so you can see all your web vitals from uh, this panel as well but if you want to drill down into more details uh, you can use the uh, lighthouse which we are going to see uh, in next video and also you can leverage the web.dev so this is another website where you can measure your uh, website performance by clicking on this uh, test my site button and uh, feed your uh, url uh, to run the audit so which also we are going to see in the uh, next couple of videos so i hope this video uh, will help you to get started with the performance bottleneck analysis and uh, thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel